All right, you guys, I am so excited to bring you this video today. I am doing a review over my new Shark Vertex cordless vacuum. And here she is. I have been using this now for a couple of weeks straight and I have been using it like every day. Um, wanted to get some use in before I did this review. So um, it's the strongest suction of any cordless stick vacuum within the Shark family. Um, hyper velocity, it's multi-flex, so you can flex it under your furniture. You don't have to bend over. It flexes down for storage. And it has the power fins on it, continuous cleaning, plus the bristles. It says it picks up more hair with no hair wrap. Covers and traps over 99.9% .9 of dust and allergens. Um, clean touch dirt ejector. Extra large capacity LED headlights. So here's a little picture on here showing it picking up things like a big pile of almost looks like Cheerios. I don't know what that is. Picks up more dirt in every pass. Duo clean power fins, two brush roll carpets and floors. Fine dust, large piles, embedded dirt. Self cleaning brush roll. So the shark it says is no hair. So I have been wanting to get a cordless vacuum for quite some time now. I really liked, honestly, this picture got me right here because I thought, you know, I want something that can not only get the fine things, but the bigger messes like that. Um, and the fact that it says it's the strongest suction within the shark family. I don't know how this compares to like Thistle or um, what's the other popular one, Dyson. Although when I was checking out with this, the lady at the register next to me said, you got the very best stick vacuum of all stick vacuums, even better than Dyson is what she said. So I am going to kind of break this down for you. I'm going to take this apart, this vacuum, kind of show you all the uh, details of it, how it comes apart. I'll show you how it vacuums, how it sounds, empty the canister. Uh, all that good stuff. I'll just take you along here. So let's get started on the vacuum itself. Okay, so as you can see, I have removed the top part of the vacuum. This was just sitting up top and it just easily snaps into place. And then to get it off, let me do this without dropping it. I'm just going to push this down and it's going to slide right off, which is kind of hard to do with one hand. So let me do this um, off camera. So this is the top portion of your shark vacuum, which as you can see, it comes off and then becomes its own handheld vacuum, which is very convenient. This is the canister, which you can see, <laughs> I actually just emptied this out, but it's still dirty looking on the inside because I've been using this quite a bit and it really does pick up a lot of the dirt and gunk. All you have to do is slide this little black thing down and see that pops right open. And then you can just easily dump out all your stuff into the trash. You don't have to really touch it. And then when you're done, you just push that up. It snaps right back into place. The vacuum did come with two accessory pieces. So you've got your little uh, thinner um, piece that you can attach on to get in tighter spaces which is what I always do, um, especially when I detach this handheld piece, I just snap that into place and then instantly very easy to get in those tighter spaces um, to clean up with and perfect for the car too. You can take this out in your car and it really does a nice job. So that comes right off. And then they also give you this little duster piece. Again, it just snaps in place and then turn it on and you can go over areas maybe drapes or the wall or whatever you know dusty stuff you're really wanting to get off and it's got the nice brush on there to help get all of the dust off and then let me just turn this on real quick just so you can kind of hear it how it sounds how loud it is
that's how it sounds. It's not very loud at all. So I do have a Roomba uh, vacuum and I've done a couple of videos on it. The initial review video and then a follow-up video. I'll put both of those videos down below for you to go watch. And this one is much quieter than my Roomba. And I do want you to notice, actually, I'm gonna turn this back on for a second because you're gonna notice these little lights down here. So I just finished charging it. So it's all the way, it's got three little bars. It shows that it's fully charged. Um, if it's, you know, it'll go down to two bars, one bar, and then of course it'll be completely blank um, if you're using it. When you're using it, if you try to turn it on, it just won't come on. Or if you're vac in the middle of vacuuming, it'll just cut out on you and it'll show no lights here, which means you need to charge it. And this is the little wall charger that comes with it. So you just plug this part into the wall. And then on the end here, you'll see the little port hole area there. And that's where you're going to plug this piece into. So it just goes right in there. And you just plug it until um, your three bars light up and then you know you're good to go. You don't have to plug it long enough for the three bars to be lit up, but I think they kind of recommend that to fully charge it. And they do recommend fully charging it um, before your first time use. And I will admit, I did not do that because, you know, I was so excited to use it and it did work great. Um, I went ahead and used it not being fully charged and it was awesome. So that is that piece. Now for the rest of this piece here, this part also clips off. And I'm gonna do this off camera because it's just too hard to do with one hand. part comes off as well very easily. Just, you know, the little purple button, all you do is push it and pull and it comes right out. And this is just, you know, the body, the stick part, you can see through there. So I'd say the second or third day that I used this, all of a sudden I noticed it kind of started sounding funny um, and wasn't really suctioning right. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I just bought this, you know, I had the receipt and I had a, I have a warranty and stuff, but I thought, tell me this thing is not messing up already. No, it was just getting clogged up. Um, actually, I think it was getting kind of clogged. Well, it was actually clogged in here and a little bit in here and maybe even a little up here. Now, you gotta understand, I was using this like repeatedly, like I'm having fun vacuuming now, which is really weird. But you know how it is when you get something new and it works great. Um, I'm vacuuming, vacuuming, vacuuming constantly. We have a little dog, as you saw. We also have a rabbit as a pet. And he will make a mess of his bedding. He'll just like, somehow he kicks and stuff and he throws his bedding all around. So I had a bunch of that bedding stuff stuck in here, rabbit bedding. And it was so simple to clean out. I mean, you just take this apart. I got out of here what I needed. I got out, um, there was a little bit clogged in here. Down here was super simple to clean as well. So it took me no time at all and then it worked good as new. So I'm gonna flip this over now so you can see underneath. So these are the two um, rollers. This is what's called the power fin rollers which you can see has the flexible silicone fins. It's supposed to dig deeper into the carpets and directly engage your floors. And then you've got the little um, like soft felt roller. And this does, I didn't mention, but you can vacuum on both carpet and hardwood floor with this. And this has two different settings for that. So if you wanna do your hardwood floor, you just click it to the first little middle setting. I'm not gonna turn it back on right now. And then if I wanna do carpet, I just push it all the way down. And while we're talking about that, if you are doing carpet, so this is like a little power surge button. If you feel like you need some extra power on something, some extra strong suction, you pull this and you hold it and it'll do like a stronger suction. It's really cool. Back to the bristles. These come out of here super easily. So you can see this little blue button on the side. You just push it down. That one pops right out. So if something like a bigger piece of something gets trapped in there, like, you know, my kids toys, or like I said, a candy wrapper, something like that, it's super easy to take in and out. If you need to clean it. And 
then we have this one that doesn't really pop out but it's super easy to turn manually so if you get something trapped in there it's easy to just turn this and then you can also remove this entire piece here by and i just use like a butter knife or something to turn these to open them so let me do that for you right now so you can see what i'm talking about see it says it's on the lock position i'm gonna just Put it to the unlock position and then this just oh we've got a third one here so i have them all unlocked and that just pulls right out out oh and when i told you i had to clean out before because some things were stuck actually this was really handy because when you remove that piece then you can get down on this end too if there are things clogged in here and then plus it makes it easier to access this brush area here if you've got something like I said something is trapped in there super super easy to take this thing apart if you need to so you just slide them back in connect so I have my first one I had to use my hand that was holding my camera so when you're pushing these when you're putting this back into place you need one hand to kind of press this down so that this will click so let me show you what it'll sound like you want to hear that clicking sound so when you unlock it and lock it you'll hear that clicking sound it lets you know that you're doing it correctly so that's back on there super easily and then just to put the the roller back in so all i did was press this piece up here in first and then this part will snap back into place and voila it's all put back together i'm telling you, you guys this could not be simpler and so that is the vacuum in a nutshell. I'm gonna put this back together. There's the stick part. And then I'm gonna put the top canister portion back on. Now it's back together. And let me show you some shots of what it looks like uh, while I'm vacuuming, how it sounds, how it uh, suctions up everything. So you can see it did pick up all of the stuff from the rabbit cage. There was even a little piece of like paper um, from some, I think a toy they opened, like the little cardboard, thin cardboard, and I did get that to vacuum up as well. And it's perfect. I love it. it I think the suction is great on this vacuum. Um, it's really worked out well for me. So let me show you really quickly how it bends, like if you want to bend it under furniture. You can see I haven't taken off my yellow sticker here, um, but this lock and unlock button, and I'm sorry if you can't hear me as well, I did take my microphone off. So you click the unlock and it bends all the way down almost to, well, pretty much to a 90 degree angle even. So that is super convenient. And then just snap it into place when you're done. And then that's also how you store it. You're gonna unlock it and then let it lay forward. And voila, it's that simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this review of the Shark Vertex Cordless Vacuum. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something I wanted to do um, because you know, I purchased the vacuum and I kind of like to give reviews on this stuff to kind of let you know if I think it's worth the money or not. Quickly, in regards to my iRobot vacuum, um, it's actually not picking up anything right now off of the carpet. I think that's probably because it needs a new filter, so I will get a new filter for that. But I think that's really good for more 
lighter areas to vacuum and if you have bigger spaces. So I'm in a much smaller space here and it gets stuck a lot um, and caught under things. I have to constantly go get it and that's getting annoying. So that was another thing that prompted me um, to get a, a, another vacuum that I could actually manually go out and vacuum. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments down below if you have this vacuum, if you've been looking at it. Please leave questions down below. If there's something I did not answer in this video, I'd be happy um, to try to answer that for you. I tried to cover most everything. It does, of course, come with an instruction manual, um, so you do get that with it. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Have a great day.